Expo. My name is Roberta Salgado, and I am the Employer Relations Lead at the Career Center, along with Jacqueline Aguayo, our Events Coordinator at the Career Center. Jackie. Good morning, everyone. Thank you, Roberta. <laughs> we will both be your hosts for today's virtual event. This live webinar will be recorded and will be shared to your student email, along with the videos being available in our Career Center's YouTube channel. In a few minutes, I will be introducing our presenters for our second virtual session. But before we do that, I would like to go over the functions available to you during this presentation. First and foremost, your microphone will be muted throughout the presentation. In the bottom center of the screen, you will see a Q&A chat option. This is where you can ask questions throughout the presentation. After the presentation, we will be going over the questions. Now, I will turn it over to California Baptist University. Welcome back, Cal, uh, CBU, and take it away. Good morning, everyone. Um, buenos dias, Cal State San Bernardino, um, and welcome. On behalf of CBU and specifically the Graduate Admissions Office, thank you for joining us on a brief overview of California Baptist University. We'll begin in a few minutes, and first, a few, a few introductions, um, a bit about myself. My name is Alma Salazar. I'm the Director of Graduate Admissions. I hold a Master's in Business Administration and an undergrad in Leadership Management. I did immigrate to the U.S. at the age of three. Spanish is my first language, and a fun fact, I did live in Dubai in the United Arab Emirates for six months in a professional endeavor. So now we'll talk, take a few minutes to introduce the team. Hi there, David. Just so you know, you are muted right now. Hi. Sorry about that. Appreciate that. All right. I'll go ahead and uh, share some of the different um, information for some of our counselors here. So again, my name is David. Uh, welcome you to our information session for California Baptist University. Um, I am a graduate student uh, here at, at CBU, and I did an undergrad at Point Loma Nazarene University in, uh, in San Diego. Uh, I currently oversee athletic training, pre-athletic training, kinesiology, English, the MA programs, both in uh, leadership management and PhD uh, leadership studies. Fun fact about me is that I participated in the largest consecutive fire walk. So most <laughs> people walking across a pit of fire back in 2004, and it was recorded in the Guinness Book of World Records. So that's my fun fact. So thank you. Awesome. Good morning, everyone. Thank you so much for taking the time to join us today. My name is Megan Zeiss, and I'm also a CBU alumni. I received my undergraduate degree in psychology in Christian behavioral science and also Christian behavioral sciences from CBU, and then my master's in organizational psychology from Vanguard. I currently serve as the counselor for the teaching credentials and master's in education as well as the Higher Education Leadership and Student Development Program and Industrial and Organizational Psychology Program. Um, fun fact for me is not only has CBU prepared me academically and professionally, but I'm also extremely thankful because CBU um, brought me to my husband. So we did meet our freshman year in college. And that's a little bit about me. I look forward to sharing more about our programs and hopefully learning a little bit more about you and your grad school search. CSUSB, what's going on? Hey, it's a pleasure to have you guys here this morning. My name is Rudy Viorel. Uh, a little bit about me, I am actually an undergrad here from Cal Baptist. I study music education and my master's degree is in instrumental performance, specifically saxophone. Uh, a few of the programs that I oversee are school counseling, school psychology, forensic psychology, applied mathematics, music and our worship arts program. Uh, fun fact about me, I actually started cutting hair in college and been doing it ever since. So almost eight years now. So that, that's a fun fact about me. Man, it's really hard to follow Mr. CBU. <laughs> Good morning, everyone. My name is Katie Miniard. I um, am really fortunate to be a graduate admissions counselor here at CBU. I'm actually originally from North Carolina. I moved out here about two years ago, and my undergrad and graduate degrees are from Gardner-Webb University, kind of near Charlotte, North Carolina area. The programs that I oversee here at CBU are the Counseling Psychology MFT PCC program, 
as well as the sport and performance psychology program. And then my other hat is our school of business, which is going to include our MBA program, as well as our information technology management program. A quick fun fact about me is that I, um, again, originally from North Carolina, but I met my husband in Virginia. We married in Missouri, we moved to California from Tennessee, and there's a couple other states in between. So um, I'm really glad to be here and I'm really excited to meet you all later. Thank you, Katie. Well, good morning, everyone. My name is Michelle Walls, and I just wanted to thank you all for joining us today. I wanted to share a little bit about myself before I get started on just some detailed information regarding the College of Nursing. Um, first and foremost, I completed my bachelor's degree in business at Hope International University in 2010, and I worked in higher education for five years now, and I've worked at CBU for two years um, here at the Graduate Admissions Office, and I oversee the College of Nursing. And really, I've just enjoyed every bit of my time here. Uh, from the family-like environment to all the support from faculty members and staff. I truly feel like I'm a part of something bigger than myself, and I know that you will experience that as a CBU student too. Um, one little fun fact about me is that Arabic was actually my first language, and both my parents wanted to keep their home language instilled in me, and I'm really glad that they did. So I look forward to meeting all of you soon and getting to know you as well. Shukran, Michelle. I'm Stephanie Fluitt. I want to introduce myself to you guys at Cal State San Bernardino. I did my MBA here at CBU and I really loved it. Great faculty. So Katie will tell you more about that program in a little bit. I did my BA in social science at Bethany College and that was just kind of because I had some units and I wanted to graduate. So social science was my award at the end. But I oversee here the PA program, speech language pathology, public health, biomed and architecture. Fun fact about me is I have eight pets. I have two cats, two rabbits, and four ducks. They just keep kind of accumulating. So apparently I'm all about the numbers. So let's move on to the rest of our presentation. All right, thank you team. And they'll be back a little bit later to give you more details on their individual programs. I will tell you that you may see that uh, those three letters all over the place, whether it's a billboard or on our website, but you see live your purpose. And uh, here at CBU, that's more than a catchphrase for us. It's something that we truly believe. So we want our students to find their purpose, live their purpose, and ultimately we want them to live for others. I think you would agree at this stage as you are exploring grad school, you have a pretty good idea as to what you want to specialize in. So here at CBU, we want to come alongside you and join you on this journey. So let's take a look at this short video that will tell you a little bit more about who we are. It is clear Can you hear that? that living for one another and living a life of purpose is our best way forward. The world needs each and every one of us, our unique God-given gifts the curiosity to discover, the motivation to make a difference, and compassion to do our part. The world may be changing, but our mission at California Baptist University remains strong. Lancers are willing and ready to rise up and face any challenge ahead by being academically prepared, biblically rooted, globally minded, and equipped to serve. Our purpose and perseverance matters. So be encouraged. Let's live with faith, live with hope, live with love. And most importantly, in these times, let's live for others. Well, thank you so much for your attention in that quick uh, short video there. And um, I'm going to take a little bit more time to um, go through those uh, mentioned on the video, which are our four core, um, which is really our four core values here at CBU. The first one, um, obviously, and then David, if you can move to the, okay, great, thank you. Um, so the first one um, that is mentioned in our video is the academically prepared um, 
uh, core value here at CBU. And how we do that basically is we really try to maintain a very small faculty and student ratio. And that varies by program, but we really try to make that um, part of what we do here. Also, 75% um, or higher at this point of our faculty hold terminal degrees and in their specialty areas. We do expect our students also to engage in the learning process. Our hope is to help you, you as a student develop your personal, personal presence. <clears throat> we have faculty that care, excuse me, uh, far beyond the classroom. So feel free, free to reach out to them uh, during their class hours and so forth, cl uh, office hours, I should say. And we do have an academic success center here uh, where you can get writing assistance, proofreading services. Uh, this is a very critical uh, service for our graduate students. Uh, and then of course we do have uh, tutoring and disability services. We are a biblically rooted um, university as well. So this is a, a second core value for us that is very important. So surprise, uh, we are a faith and learning uh, integrated school. So in everything that we do, uh, we are an unapologetically Christian uh, university. What that means, um, what that means uh, here for us is basically that 100% of your staff and faculty profess to be Christians. Uh, so we purposely integrate faith and learning in all that we do. Um, if you can move on to that second one, uh, David. Um, what that might look like for you in class, by the way, as a biblically rooted university, is that you may have faculty um, that will begin your class with prayer and uh, have a Christian perspective in, uh, that is integrated into the curriculum and assignments and so forth. So, so we do value Christian relationships and integrate that into our behavioral standards for all of our uh, students here. A common question that comes up uh, often there is uh, I heard chapel is a requirement uh, and chapel attendance is not required for graduate students. So I will make that uh, statement now. Our spiritual life office, however, uh, has many opportunities for fellowship uh, and for you to grow spiritually should you choose to pursue that option. So I just wanted to mention that, but we welcome all students from all walks and uh, from uh, different uh, religions as well. You are not required to be a Christian to attend CBU. We are a globally minded university as well. We respect a diverse, uh, we respect diverse cultures and we hope that you will as well and I hope you'll gain understanding of global issues through cross-cultural experiences. Grad students have an opportunity to get involved if your schedule permits, not mandatory, but there's tons of ways uh, where you can participate in mobilization, for example. Uh, last year we had over 300 participants, went to 23 countries. Uh, uh, if you don't have time to travel, uh, but um, you'd like to still have that global interaction. We have on campus uh, international students that make up, uh, there's hundreds of international students, they make up about 38 different countries are represented uh, here on campus. So we're excited about that. And we are also equipping students to serve. Uh, ultimately, we want to, you to transfer your learning into your profession. So we develop uh, you um, and hope that you can develop your personal and social ethic as well. We do that obviously by uh, supporting you and equipping you through career services, which is a department that also uh, helps with resume writing, uh, strengths assessment, uh, they set up your LinkedIn, and in explore internship opportunities. Um, of course, we offer very practical majors uh, as the list uh, that, you'll, that we'll review here with you shortly. We have a lot of compassion opportunities, uh, whether you're working with homeless or children, seniors, local community organizations, as grad students, you'll, you'll have several ways to serve your community. So, so we're always excited about that and excited to tell you that you can serve on different projects, whether it's with schools or churches or different charity organizations. So we want CBU uh, students to develop a personal and social ethic that makes a difference in this world. All right, so why CBU? Why do so many students um, choose to come here? There's some exciting stuff happening here at CBU. And so we're just excited to be here this morning and share some of those. I'll give you some sort of big, um, big picture uh, items that are happening here at CBU. First of all, we are a nationally ranked university. Um, that's exciting. We are also just like Cal State uh, San Bernardino. We are accredited by WASC. Uh, we have very professional, dedicated faculty. Uh, we are ranked top 10 best college campus. So if you haven't been to this beautiful campus, here's a picture behind me of one of the scenes here on campus, but it's a gorgeous campus. And although we don't, we are not offering, by the way, in-person classes here in the fall, we are still, uh, campus is still open. So if you'd like to uh, set up an appointment to come in for a tour, we would love to host you and 
show you around our beautiful campus. We do offer over 35 master's and doctoral programs. Uh, we are very proud of the fact we are rated number one private university for dining. So we're very excited about that. And most exciting for our athletics department is that we are now and recently uh, 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 we're upgraded into the NCAA Division I sports. So that's a huge, huge achievement for us and we're excited about that. Um, and then of course, some of the other department resources available throughout the CBU is uh, our Career Search Center, which we mentioned before. We also have a Veterans Resource Department, Office of Student Success, Counseling and Wellness Center, a Commuter Lounge. We have a Recreation Center, which serves as our gym here at CBU an event center, and of course, an office of spiritual life. So all of these are sort of just um, services and resources that are available to all of our graduate students. Uh, once you have that CBU ID, you really have um, the um, ability to uh, participate in any, in any and all of those resources. So, so we hope to see you here on campus. And now I'm gonna turn it over to David. All right, well, thank you, Alma. I uh, appreciate uh, sharing a little bit about uh, California Baptist University, and I'd like to continue in that vein, and, and why, why do students choose graduate school specifically uh, within Cal Baptist University? So California Baptist University has experienced a tremendous amount of growth uh, over the past 15, 20 years here, and um, some of the things that we've done is, is been very intentional about how we're approaching uh, the development and design of masters and PhD programs. So for um, most of the graduate programs, we've either re-envisioned or redesigned uh, programs. So they emphasize both the theory uh, for the, the discipline, for the material, but also combine that with practical applications, whether that be uh, in-classroom uh, role model or, or mock um, schedules, uh, whether we do internships or practicum or clinical applications, uh, all of our components have some emphasis for real world application. Um, the design is that we are taking a look at the industry and what is the, the need that is out there uh, and then uh, designing or, or re-implementing our programs uh, based on the current need. That way you don't have any antiquated programs uh, or antiquated uh, technology or anything that um, will, will be uh, of little use in the real world once you've uh, graduated with a degree from our program. And we have had a, a history of success. Uh, this is why we've had heritage programs like uh, behavioral social sciences and education uh, which we've hosted for about four years here uh, at Cal Baptist University. And the great part about CBU is that none of the graduate uh, or doctorate programs will be taught by GAs or TAs. They'll be taught by the full-time tenured faculty uh, that are here at CBU. Uh, we, we want you to have access uh, to the best that we have to offer, especially as a graduate student. So they are the experts and you will have access both in class and they make themselves very much available outside of class as well to provide just this well-rounded learning environment. Uh, for some of our programs, we do have global uh, internship opportunities, um, whether that be an MBA or a couple different areas like uh, Alma was mentioning earlier, there's different service projects that fall in line with healthcare and with nursing and different areas uh, in that as well. So we want to try to provide you with an opportunity to experience the world and experience um, the conditions of your discipline outside of just Southern California. Uh, that way uh, we have a more well-rounded uh, aspect, well rounded perspective of those that we're trying to impact. Um, someone once said that the, um, the, the greatest luxury is to be able to combine passion uh, with your contribution. And we want you to be able to do that here at, at CBU. Uh, and and that, that leads to, to the happiness uh, if you're able to do both at the same time. So what a great luxury to be able to study in, in a variety of different areas uh, here at CBU uh, in order to do that. Uh, as Alma mentioned, uh, we have a variety of different resources here. And as a graduate student, uh, you are a full-fledged student here, so you're treated as any other student, um, even though your classes may um, be e either in the evening or at odd times, you still have access to all of the, the great and wonderful resources that we offer here at California Baptist University. And finally, you know, our roots here are a private uh, Christian school with small class sizes and, and great uh, relationships and connections with faculty. And so we've tried to maintain that even through our growth, and so we try to maintain small class sizes so that you uh, can be seen, you can be heard, you can get all recurring theme that we hear from our alumni, that they were able to get all of their question answers and, and really build a relationship with uh, the experts in their field so that they can help make that transition from academics uh, to practical application once they're through. This is why some, some students choose uh, graduate school here at CBU. You know, I just wanted to take a minute and share real quick what that looks like. And Alma, I'm going to go ahead and turn it back to you uh, for the, the next uh, few slides here. So thank you so much.
David, so sorry. I had those on your <laughs> on your list. Yeah, I'm so sorry. No problem. I can go ahead and go through this here. Okay, thanks. So we have we have programs that are designed for to fit individual lifestyles. Um, we have some full time programs um, that are here. Um, the full time programs that we that we offer uh, are typically professional programs, so physicians assistants, some of the the nursing programs, entry level nursing. But most of our programs are designed for working individuals. So after you've graduated with your with your bachelor's degree, uh, most likely you're working part time or hopefully full time. Uh, and a lot of our classes, a lot of our programs um, are designed to be completed in the evenings or around your work schedule. And so we allow for that. Um, we have, again, the professional license programs as well as those evening programs that are there. And we try to work with you on that schedule. We realize that the, the life, uh, work life and academic balance is an important balance, especially as you move to graduate school and start gaining that experience that's necessary to advance in your career. Uh, and what we've done here as well is we've allowed you to um, take classes both in fall, spring, and summer. So that's 12 months out of the, out of the year. Uh, and that way you're, uh, you can graduate on time. Uh, you can graduate in a, in a quick manner and move forward with your career. Again, we want you to be able to get exposed to the material uh, and learn and develop the skills that you need to, but also get out in a timely manner so you can continue uh, with the, the demands and responsibilities that life has in store for us. Um, again, I was mentioning the small class sizes. So the 20 to one student faculty ratio um, is a hallmark for most of our graduate programs. We try to keep those class sizes small. There are some exceptions uh, with some of the, the more uh, larger programs that we offer. But again, we try to offer as best as possible the perspective and connection with your professors. Uh, there's 100% Christian faculty, so you're going to get that ethical, that, uh, that point, the world point of view uh, from their end. But like Alma said earlier, uh, we welcome students from all sorts of faith or no faith. Um, again, the diversity here uh, is, is existing uh, throughout Southern California, as we know, and, and we want you to know that this is our perspective coming in. Uh, we are fully accredited through WASC accreditation, same accreditation for Cal State San Bernardino, as well as UCLA, USC, it's the same regional accreditation. And most of our graduate programs have uh, additional uh, accreditations as well, uh, as, and I'll let the counselor speak directly to that. For the uh, professional development, uh, we want, again, like I said, to make sure that you're prepared to enter your, to your career. So we have a, a specific career center, not unlike the one uh, here at, at Cal State San Bernardino, uh, that has helped put on these, uh, these wonderful grad uh, fairs or grad presentations. Uh, but our, our career center will help you connect also with uh, employers, uh, whether that be on campus or through virtual information sessions like this one. Uh, in addition to that, we do help uh, with resume writing workshops. Uh, we do mock interviews where you're allowed to come in uh, meet with an individual and go over a mock interview for what it would be like for a job. You get a, uh, instant feedback um, regarding how well you did and that way you get some of those bugs out, some of the, uh, the preparation. I always say that, I always hear from students that, oh, I'm not a good interviewer. I, I don't have the confidence to do that. Well, it's a skill, not a, you're not born with this. Uh, so, you know, it's something you need to practice over time and we give you an opportunity to do that here in the Career Center. Um, also, uh, job, uh, job fairs, there's eight different job fairs that we offer here on campus. Again, not unlike uh, CSUSB, and so we want you to, to know that there are steps that we have uh, in place uh, for you to connect with your ultimate goal in, in, in career development. And so what do students say about our programs? Uh, it's hard for me to kind of get a, a, um, a good variety from all the different programs, so I decided to pick one um, that, that uh, just shares a uh, student's experience as a recent graduate from one of our health science programs. Um, and so I'll go ahead and, uh, and, and share her, her experience. This is from um, an athletic training student that graduated this year. So this is a very well-rounded program that focuses on education that will prepare us for the license exam uh, in athletic training and transition to practice. This program does a great job of utilizing resources and alumni to give us the best learning opportunities. Uh, because of learning opportunities and topics of learning, she felt ahead of the learning curve for some of the other programs that were out there. And this program also does a phenomenal job at addressing belief systems and how to take that into the into practice. And so that was just something I, I thought you might uh, want to, to learn or understand as well from a student perspective. There are also a list of other alumni success stories uh, on the graduate uh, programs page. So I wanna make sure that you take some time and, and review those uh, for some of the other different programs that are out there as well. All right, so with that, we'll go ahead and, we'll go ahead and break out into, um, or, or sorry, address specific programs and specific colleges that are offered uh, here at uh, California Baptist University. So this is the schedule one, one through six of the different programs we're gonna go over. And we're gonna have each of the counselors address uh, programs and, um, and college philosophies 
uh, as you as we move through those so that you can get a better understanding uh, of what those programs uh, look like. So if you see your program on here, just uh, keep in mind that it will be uh, on the list uh, as we move forward. So with that, I'm going to go ahead and turn this over to Katie. Uh, Katie's going to talk a little bit about the College of Behavioral and, uh, and Social Sciences. Great. Thank you so much, David. Um, again, my name is Katie. I work with several of our College of Behavioral and Social Sciences programs. I'm also um, very fortunate to have some other counselors who assist with this as well. So Ms. Debbie Pasalacqua, Megan Seiss, and Rudy are all available to answer any questions you may have as well. So um, the College of Behavioral Sciences is actually our uh, oldest heritage program and college here at CBU. And so we have nearly 40 years of experience with graduates from this particular college. Uh, with that, there's over 1200 alumni from various programs that are part of these uh, part of this college. And so there are seven programs listed on your screen right now that we're going to briefly go over. And then we're also going to highlight two specific programs. And again, if you have any additional questions about some of these programs, feel free to drop those in the chat. We'll also be featuring a, a live Q&A session after the session today. Our clinical psychology program is the, the career focus for that is to become a licensed clinical psychologist. So that is a five year doctoral program here at CBU and that begins each fall. Uh, we also have a counseling psychology program, which is for students that are wanting to prepare for their licensure as a marriage and family therapist or as a professional clinical counselor. So again, those are for students looking for their MFT or their PCC licensure. Uh, we also do have a department of social work that includes two professional programs, including a master's of social work program, as well as a doctorate in social work program, which is launching this fall. Uh, we'll, we'll highlight both the counseling psychology as well as the social work programs here momentarily. Finally, the forensic psychology program, the career focus of that is to provide psychological services to uh, clients in forensic settings. So um, I'm sure you've seen a lot of the, the Netflix and Hulu shows this time in the world. Forensic psychology is, is a big highlight. So we get a lot of excellent undergraduate students from CSU San Bernardino for our forensic psychology program. Uh, and then finally, industrial organizational psychology is our program that begins each fall. That career focus is really for someone who is um, looking to have a justice oriented mindset and work with uh, businesses as far as combining psychology uh, with coordinated services thereafter. The industrial or organizational psychology program has had 80% of students receive a job upgrade within their first year. So uh, that is one of our heftiest programs as far as the, the career minded focus and then sport and performance psychology program that also begins each fall. That is for a student who's wanting to work with athletes as well as with performers, which can include military populations, uh, health services such as um, crisis management workers, in addition to that working with police and firemen and all of the above. So um, as you're seeing, there's a wide variety of programs that are part of our College of Behavioral and Social Sciences. However, the number one prerequisite for all of those programs is to have a heart for serving others. So uh, David, if you can advance to the next slide, we're going to go ahead and highlight our counseling psychology program as well as our social work program. Again, we get a lot of excellent undergraduates from our psychology program at CSU San Bernardino. So the counseling psychology, again, prepares students for their MFT or their PCC license. If you have any questions about what those licenses may entail, again, we'd love to speak with you and answer any questions that you may have. That is a two-year program. You can also do it part-time in a three-year format or even a four-year format. So it's really built for someone who may uh, be balancing things in life, whether that's uh, full-time academic studies, full-time work, full-time parenting, or, or some combination of all of those things. We also feature evening and online classes in that particular program and then that program is also a year-round program which begins fall, spring, or summer of each year. Finally, the Master's of Social Work program is a two-year program. Um, I understand that your undergraduate degrees over there at CSU San Bernardino feature a Bachelor's of Social Work program. Uh, the great thing with that, if you are a BSW undergraduate student, you can actually potentially qualify for our advanced standing MSW program, which would essentially cut your program from two years down to one. It's a phenomenal opportunity for the right types of students and for that particular program, there are a lot of different modalities in how those classes are taught. They have evening options, they have online options, they even have some weekend options. And so uh, again, if you're looking for a really fruitful career in social work, we also do have a doctorate program that's launching this fall in the Doctor of Social Work program. Uh, finally, if you, again, if you have any additional questions, we will be also hosting a live information session at the end of this presentation, and that will feature some counselors that are part of all of these programs. 
All right. Well, thank, hey, thanks, Katie, for sharing in regards to our School of Behavioral Sciences. Uh, once again, my name is Rudy, and it's a pleasure to be here with uh, CSUSB this morning and for you guys to learn more specifics about the programs that we offer here at Cal Baptist. Uh, just like Alma mentioned earlier, you know, we are a very big community-based school, and so you'll hear that a lot, you know, from our students, our staff, faculty, even people living in the local Riverside community. Um, pretty much anything we do, um, whether that's coming here for an event, a game, uh, even just eating here on campus, uh, you'll notice that we do get a lot of the community out here. Um, going on with our School of Education, you'll also notice that, too, a lot of our students, our graduates, are currently working within our community, within school districts um, throughout the Inland Empire. And uh, my colleague Megan and I happen to be at a teacher fair. Um, you know, just like CSUSB, we put on a number of fairs, uh, job fairs uh, and uh, teacher fairs. We were at one last year and we had 12 students that were hired on the spot. And so, you know, during those times, it's a time for students to get to know local school districts that are looking to hire, you know, specifically our students and work with them. Um, so for myself, I work closely with the school psychology program as well as the school counseling program. So those are actually both dual programs, meaning that you will obtain your master's degree as well as a PPS credential. The benefit about both of those programs is that they do only meet once a week. So typically your courses are gonna be on Mondays from 4.30 to 9.30 p.m. So for a lot of our students that are in those programs, it allows um, you know, for them for uh, their practicum hours, you know, a lot of them already working within the school districts, networking connections, things like that. Um, a little bit about the school psychology program is that our program is geared uh, to help our students um, um, support students' abilities to learn um, in the classroom, as well as equipping our teachers' abilities to teach in the classroom. Um, so I look at it more as kind of like a behind the scenes, you know, how can we better, uh, you know, the students' learning abilities, you know, in, in, in this class? How can we better equip our teachers, you know, to teach this subject in the classroom, things like that? And so it's a fantastic program. Uh, our faculty members here are still currently working within those fields as well. So you're going to gain, you know, firsthand experience uh, within this program, um, as well as our school counseling program, which is a little bit more geared towards working more one on one with students. So um, that's how, you know, how are we going to assist our students in areas of academic achievement, personal and social development and even career development and, you know, ensuring that today's students will become the, you know, productive, well-adjusted adults of tomorrow. And, um, you know, those are just a little bit about those two programs specifically that I oversee. So, you know, for those of you that have any questions about those programs, you know, I'm more than happy to assist you with those questions and even then share my experience with you, you know, about my time here at Cal Baptist. So I'll go ahead and I'm gonna pass it over to Megan so she can give you a bit more information about her teaching credential options. Awesome, thanks Rudy. Hi everyone. Um, again, we're really excited to share about our School of Education. Currently right now within the School of Education, we offer a variety of different teaching credentials. And those include single subject, multiple subject, and a, diff a few different special education options. We also offer a dual credential. So if you're looking to complete a mild mod credential combined with either a single subject or a multiple subject credential, you can actually do those at the same time. One of the really unique things that we offer is you can combine a master's in education with any of our credentials. And then even more unique than that, um, you can, by adding a master's, you're only adding about four or five more classes. So that means you can complete your credential, student teaching, and a master's in about two years. So I think that's pretty cool. In addition to our credentials, we do offer a master's only option. So if you're looking to work in the field of maybe higher education as an academic advisor or financial aid advisor, then I would encourage you to learn more about our master's in higher education leadership and student development program. And then we also offer a master's in education option um, with various different concentrations to select from. So you can choose maybe international education or educational leadership for faith-based institutions. And then in addition to delivering high quality education, um, you may have heard us say this a few times already, but CBU also incorporates a lot of hands-on professional development opportunities. So for the School of Education, this can be seen through their commitment to helping our students um, with fieldwork hours, observation hours, and different opportunities outside of our classroom setting. Um, and that includes different placement opportunities for student teaching as well. 
Uh, you heard Rudy mention this, but one of my favorite opportunities for students within the School of Education is our teacher fair. So every March, the Career Center brings about 40 different employers in different school districts from all different areas to our campus. This means that employers are here to hire our students and our alumni. So as a current student and alumni, you'll always have access to these career fairs. And my favorite thing apart that, about that is that you're not competing against other universities. Um, and a lot of our students, like Rudy has mentioned, they get hired on the spot. So currently we have a few um, students who are currently working at um, Valverde, Lake Elsinore, um, RUSD, San Bernardino, we have some in Temecula Valley currently. So you have, a lot of our students have gone into these career fairs with no jobs and they come out with a contract for when they graduate. So I think that's a really unique opportunity here at CVU. Um, overall, really great things are happening within School of Education. So if you're looking to learn more, Rudy and I are gonna stay after the presentation and address any questions you may have. I also want to let you know that we do host information sessions about once a month, so we'd love to get the next date on your calendar. And then please feel free to connect with us directly for more details. We look forward to um, continuing to assist you in this process. Thank you, Megan. All right, now we're here from Stephanie about the, the Health Science Campus. Hi, I'm actually in that building right now, so my office is up at the upper right corner. Um, we have a wonderful athletic training program here in our College of Health Science. It's been around for over 10 years, so it's one of the oldest entry-level masters on the, the West Coast. So if you've discovered a love for athletic training um, partway through your undergraduate career, that's an opportunity for you to move into that field. We also have a great kinesiology program with a couple of different concentrations. So if you want to go into the marketing and event management side, we have sport management, exercise science lets you go into cardiac rehab and a couple of other specialty areas. Physical education is for some of our PE teachers in the local K through 12 uh, school districts. And then we have a new concentration in nutrition and health science. And that's been, uh, we've been getting a fair amount of interest and questions about that field lately. So that'll be popular as well. I also oversee the physician assistant program. If you know you want to be a PA, you know it's extremely competitive. Our program has a great faculty here on campus. We just had our final visit for accreditation. We're waiting for their report, but things seem to have gone very well. So we have been in the candidate stage for the first five years, and that's what all new programs go through. And the speech language pathology is also the same age. Um, they started the same year, and we have our wonderful clinical education center here on campus. Our faculty have been coordinating as students have been in lockdown with um, teletherapy and opportunities for them to continue earning hours for their practicum in a new and unique way using technology. So they've done a marvelous job of that. So three of those are very specific for a licensure to work in that field. And I'd also like to talk on the next slide about um, public health in particular with the current situation. There's been a great deal of interest in public health. Can we go to the next slide, David? Our program is CEF accredited, that's the Council for Education and Public Health, and we have two concentrations, one in the policy and admin, kind of the government side, or the health education and promotion, which is working with groups or individuals or companies to help them motivate toward healthier lifestyles and making choices that will help them have a longer and higher quality of, of life. We have a practicum built in with a thesis. So this is a two year program and quite a few of our students because of the current situation are working with our program director. Um, she's actually the Dean of the, or the, the department chair. She was program director for a while and has transitioned. Uh, but she mentioned that 24 students, both alumni and current students were working with her in contact tracing for the County of Riverside right now. And so that was a really direct application of what they had learned and a way for them to uh, move into the, the job world and connect and get networking and really practice what they love and their skills. So I'd be happy to answer more questions about any of these and I'll pass it off to Michelle for nursing. Thanks, Steph. Thank you so much. So within the College of Nursing, uh, we do offer some great programs, including the Entry Level Master's of Science in Nursing Program or ELMSN. Um, also, the Master of Science in Nursing, including five different concentrations, including family nurse practitioner, nurse educator, nursing informatics, healthcare leadership, and clinical nurse specialist. And um, we also offer the program of post NSN certificate program and the doctorate of nursing pro practice. Um, one of the really great things about our nursing program is that we have a great reputation within the Inland Empire. 
and are connected to over 200 hospitals ranging from LA to San Diego County. Um, but today I really wanted to focus specifically on our Master of Science in Nursing program. And an important thing to note is that we are accredited by the BRN and CCNE, as well as the SSH, which is for simulation accreditation. So if your goal is to advance your career or specialize and deliver safe primary health care, either locally or globally, like Alma mentioned at the beginning, then the College of Nursing is the right program for you. In addition to delivering high quality rigorous education taught by doctorally prepared faculty members, um, CDU also incorporates state of the art facilities, including a black box training room, a simulated clinical setting, live standardized patients, and integrated interprofessional courses. And this really gives our students the hands-on experience to really be confident when they move forward in their careers. Um, the advantages that this provides you as a student is you will be gaining the ability to get immediate feedback have repetitive practice learning opportunities to individualize learning and the adaptability to be placed in diverse settings to obtain different types of learning strategies. So this can really be seen through the College of Nursing's commitment to our students by offering that low faculty to student ratio in the classroom setting. And I really wanted to focus a little bit more um, on the program in detail and the structure. So our MSN program ranges anywhere from 42 to 54 units. And that really just depends on the concentration that you choose. In addition, students are only on campus one to two times per week and their clinical hours typically start in the fourth and fifth semester of the program. Our next available start date for the MSN program will be for spring 21. And finally, as I mentioned earlier, one of the great perks about CBU is that we are connected to over 200 hospitals. So a lot of questions we get within the MSN program is, can we assist with clinical placement? And the answer is yes. So we do have all of these partnerships uh, within the Inland Empire and CBU is dedicated to making our students um, have that additional career path moving forward. Uh, we are dedicated to making sure that our students leave CBU feeling confident and knowing that they have learned the skill set to not only succeed, but to stand above the rest in your future. So thank you so much for your time and letting me share a little bit about our Master of Science in Nursing program. If you are interested in learning more, I'll be staying after the presentation to address any questions that you may have, or please feel free to contact me directly for any details. I look forward to working with you all and thank you so much for your time. All right, thank you, Michelle, I appreciate it. And just as a quick reminder, the information that's at the bottom of these slides uh, will help you get in contact with each of the different counselors uh, that are presented so far. And so I'm gonna go ahead and turn this back over to Katie for the School of Business. Awesome, thanks, David. All right, so our School of Business has three exceptional programs. Um, all of our faculty that are part of these programs, they're all former professionals that are in the field in which they are teaching. So as David mentioned earlier, the GAs and TA structure is, is just really not what CBU is focused on. We really um, are 100% focused on that core value structure with our School of Business, including our core faculty. So um, when you're going through these three business programs here at CBU, they are built for the working professional. Some of the ways in which the that is um, structured is that each of these programs can be completed in as little as 12 months. That's three semesters. So if you wanted to balance life with your graduate degree, even if you wanted to move through a graduate program in as little as one year, all of these programs offer evening opportunities for classes. And so um, with the 12 month structure, you're only at most taking two classes per week. Again, working full time, being a full time parent or a combination of something um, in addition to that is, is very doable in the School of Business. And um, we really welcome that structure for a student's lifestyle. In our Master of Science in Information Technology Management program, you don't have to have prior experience in the field of computer science or information technology to be successful. We really teach you those skills from the get-go and uh, really prepare you for management-based positions uh, thereafter. So again, that's a 12-month program that begins in the fall and spring of each year, and you are able uh, to move through that with evening-based classes on Tuesday or Thursday evenings from 6 to 10 p.m. Also, the Masters of Arts in Leadership and Management Studies program, again, a 12-month program. Uh, the class structure is on Tuesdays and Wednesday evenings from 6 to 10 p.m. 
Uh, and that program is actually uh, relaunching this fall. We, we've uh, had a number of alumni that have really given us some excellent feedback about our, that program in the past. And we've really come back with a structure that is, again, uh, really complementary to someone's life, not contradictory. <laughs> uh, with the leadership program, you are really all about bringing together leadership theories with application of management. And so when you are thinking about either polishing your leadership skills or becoming a leader, this program is preparing you for both. Um, finally, the Masters of Business Administration program, which I directly oversee as well, the program is a 12 month program. You can also do it part time if you choose. We have a year and a half structure or a two year structure if you can really only manage one class at a time. Uh, that program has four concentrations, management, business analytics, healthcare administration, and healthcare administration. So you're noticing there, there's a very wide variety of students that are looking at an MBA program, whether they're in that current career field or they're looking to move into that. The MBA really gives you those foundational skill sets to be successful in whichever career set that you may have. Um, finally, really the, uh, the one, one of the most unique features of the MBA program is that there is an international global trip that is part of that program. It's also part of the tuition structure for the program as well. So um, if you are looking to gain those theories, really apply those things cross-culturally, this program really takes you out of the classroom, shows you what that may look like in Europe or in Asia, and um, that's a nine or ten day opportunity where you get that great experience looking at business from another lens. So whether that's through a cultural lens or cross-cultural business practices, it's a great opportunity to really uh, apply those skill sets and kind of uh, give, give you a kind of a case study on how those things will operate in your future business practices. Um, continuing on, David, if you don't mind, I'm also going to highlight some of our programs in the College of Arts and Sciences. Uh, we offer three very diverse programs in this particular college. So we have a Master's of Science in Biomedical Sciences, as well as a Master's of Arts in English and a Master's of Science in Applied Math. So again, great diversity there. In our uh, Biomedical Sciences program, that is a 12-month program that begins each fall. If you are um, really interested in having a career that could maybe be in research or maybe you're looking to apply into a professional program such as dental, medical, PA, pharmacy, DPT, uh, those professional practices really do uh, welcome you to have either a prior master's degree or a GPA that is exceptional. This program is really built for someone who is looking to polish those skills, but also advance their career in maybe one of those practices or in the field of research. The Masters of English program is a two-year program. Those classes are offered Monday through Thursday, typically after 4 p.m. And there are four concentrations that are part of that, which include digital literacy, digital literary studies, English pedagogy, literature, and then uh, TESOL, which stands for Teachers of English to Speakers of Other Languages. So um, a lot of great options there in the field of English. And then this, this particular program has a great opportunity that's embedded within it where you can actually teach some of our undergraduate English courses here at CBU. So again, uh, learning that knowledge, applying it immediately, and really benefiting some of our undergraduate students here and being part of that process with supervision, of course, uh, it's a great opportunity to apply those skills here at CBU and then move beyond that, whether that's in the classroom, uh, doing some type of uh, editorial work, content developing, things like that. And then finally, the Applied Math program is also a two-year program. Those weekday classes are offered after 4 p.m. as well. And those students, as the, as the name indicates on the, on the degree itself, it's a very applied program. Uh, so those students are really solving real-world problems and they're working in fields such as biostatistics, linear programming, and, and so much more. So the, the career focus of that program is for students maybe looking to go on for a PhD of some sort or going directly into the workforce in, in a multitude of areas. So uh, a lot of diversity in the College of Arts and Sciences as well as the School of Business. And if you have any questions about these programs, again, feel free to drop those into our chat at this time or stay after. All right, well, thank you, Katie. And thank you to all the counselors that have taken a minute to uh, share briefly about the programs. Uh, as you probably noticed, we have quite a few graduate programs here and, and our goal is to make sure that uh, you have all the information that you need. And so uh, if you uh, were listening about a program and have further questions, uh, there are a couple different ways you can look, look at it. Um, the grad programs here, calbaptist.edu forward slash, um, uh, sorry, backslash programs, or if you wanna take a look at the QR code that's uh, listed right here, I think a snapshot of that, you can take it directly to our website. In regards to cost, uh, interesting classes, uh, specific application requirements, and different things like that. So, 
Uh, we encourage you to go to uh, our website to learn more about that information, uh, as well as connect with those counselors. And so make sure as you go to the website, you can uh, see the different information for the individual counselors, both email and phone. We're more than happy to, to talk with you as you go through the program. We want to, one, both answer your questions, as well as uh, hear more about your interest to make sure that this program that we're offering uh, really fits uh, what your career goals are. Um, that's one of the things that, that uh, we work through during the application process is making sure uh, that this is a good fit for you uh, as well as uh, you for us. So what's next? Uh, hopefully this uh, information that we presented uh, piques your interest a, a bit, both about the graduate school, about CBU, and hopefully your program specifically. So the next step, of course, on our end is to start an application. Um, we encourage you to go to our website again, calbaptist.edu forward uh, backslash grad app. Uh, to get started on an application. The applications for uh, both spring, summer, and fall for 2021 uh, are still open or are now open uh, for, for students. So feel free to get started. It's not too early uh, to go through the process. Uh, once you've given us our contact information, we can work with you individually to make sure that uh, you have all of the, uh, the required information. Um, and it's an interactive process. That way we can act as your guide and make sure that uh, you're submitting the best uh, application uh, possible so that you can have a best, best consideration for our programs. Um, we have received uh, a number of students that are matriculated from Cal State San Bernardino to Cal Baptist University. It seems to be a great transition uh, for a lot of students. And so what we've uh, decided to do is we are gonna go ahead and offer, excuse me, uh, an application fee waiver code. So uh, this is a great slide to take a picture of or to just write down that information. Um, but CSUSB 2021 is the application fee waiver uh, code for, for students that would like to start an application for 2021. Uh, this application fee waiver code is good through, um, I believe, December 18th of this year, so right before the end of the new year, uh, and it is specific for Cal State San Bernardino students, so we want to give you an opportunity uh, to take advantage. Uh, it's typically a $45 application fee, um, but we want to go ahead and waive that for you, so make sure you write this down or ask your counselors afterwards if you forget it um, to, uh, to take advantage of that. And then as you're going through, speaking of the application process, I'll go ahead and briefly touch uh, on this real quick. Um, again, the application can be found here, but the application uh, here at Cal Baptist University consists of two parts. Uh, it's just one application, but it does consist of two parts. And in part one, we're going to ask just for your general contact information, uh, email, uh, phone number, as well as what school you're interested in and program and when you hope to start. You'll need to send us, uh, at least for the spring right now, we're still accepting unofficial transcripts for an initial review. Uh, that way we can uh, get back with an answer and what that looks like, at least for most of our programs. You will have to touch base with your counselor because there are a couple of, of exceptions, key exceptions to this as well. Uh, we will need your official transcripts with your degree posted, obviously, before you are able to start with us. Uh, but for the application process, uh, we can work with you, especially with uh, the current environment and COVID and, and there was a lot of adjusted hours. Uh, and so we want to make sure that we alleviate that process as much as possible and make that easier on you. Uh, and then finally, you know, uh, there's different GPAs uh, that are required for different programs. They vary from 2.5 all the way up to 3.3. So um, again, you'll need to touch base uh, with your counselor or, or visit that program page to find out your specific requirements. But that's all going to be part of uh, part one in the application. Uh, once you've submitted part one with your uh, promo code, uh, you'll be uh, able to unlock part two, which is where you submit your supplemental documents. So each program has different uh, requirements for uh, their application, but most of them include um, these supplemental documents. Our electronic recommendations are fantastic. You simply put in the name and email of your recommendation, and we will send out a request and they'll respond directly back to us. It's seriously a 20 minute um, uh, process for the recommenders to make that easy on, on their end and easy on your end when you're asking or explaining these recommendations. Uh, for the recommendations, uh, we recommend that you uh, approach uh, academic faculty or academic advisors, potentially supervisors, uh, just know friends and family uh, as you go, uh, go through this process. I mean, my mom writes me a great uh, recommendation, but unfortunately it doesn't count towards the academic progress. So keep in mind, uh, as far as the resume and personal statements, again, they will be program specific. So visit the grad page, contact your counselor um, to make sure that you are, are writing one that's specific for your program. Uh, there are some other requirements. The GRE is not required. And I know that there's a lot of hiccups right now with the GRE because of testing and testing sites. And so we've, uh, that is not part of our application process. Uh, so you will be able to, to um, hopefully that's a relief for you uh, as you move forward. 
Uh, just so you know where we're at as well for the fall semester, uh, our classes are mostly remote uh, as well, um, with our hope that we'll return as soon as it's safe uh, and healthy uh, to do so and, and conduct in-class um, um, programs. And that's, that's our goal is to, to have face-to-face -face classes as soon as it's safe and, and healthy. All right, so what else can you do in the meantime? So if you're going through the application process, again, you don't have to have all of those documents ready when you start it. You can start it now, you can start it today. But as you're going through the application process, here are some things that we want you to keep in mind as you're gathering more information and considering graduate programs. Again, there's a lot of great links on our graduate admissions page uh, as you th uh, go through here. Uh, so make sure you take a look at that again, alumni success stories, financial aid information, um, different program information, how to apply, different things like that. Um, if you have questions, um, again, we're going to uh, break off in just a second here to our question and answers or visit our website. And again, our contact information on our website is great for getting a hold of individual counselors. And then uh, we want you to attend an online information session uh, for your program. Again, that is listed on our main website as well. So you can RSVP or again, contact your counselor for how to get more information. Our faculty usually show up for those and program directors, so you get a good feel of what their philosophy is and what type of experience you can have uh, while going through the program. And finally, um, we as counselors all want you to uh, invite you to, to be on campus, uh, either virtually or physically on campus. So we do have some limited capacity here. Uh, if you want to uh, have a tour of our campus or of our classrooms, more than, we're more than happy to schedule that for you as well. Uh, or we can do that virtually through our digital um, uh, tour as well. So we wanna make sure that you get connected with your counselors uh, so that we can uh, arrange that with you. All right, so now what we'd like to do, we've got a couple of minutes left. I know we've got uh, some question and answer. So if you would like to say, have specific questions uh, for your counselor meetings, um, we're gonna go ahead and copy and paste, uh, all the counselors are gonna copy and paste a specific uh, digital room. We don't want you to be there too long because I know that there's other uh, great uh, colleges uh, that, that are going to be on right after us. Uh, but if you want to learn some specific information and want to get direct to your counselor, uh, take a look at the different uh, WebEx chat rooms that are being posted in the chat right now, along with the name, and then follow along with the different colleges or the programs within those colleges that you can help answer. I will stay here uh, in the main uh, session, if you will, um, so that I can help answer any uh, main question and answers, as well as those for the College of Arts and, so Arts and Science. So uh, with that, we'd like to thank you again for, uh, for attending. I know it's kind of uh, a lot of information and a little bit, and we wish we could go into more in depth with, with you about all of those programs. We're really proud about uh, the programs that we offer here. I think that they're fantastic. So um, please take advantage of that as we can, and I'll go ahead and turn this over to our question and answer uh, phase. So again, once again, thank you so much. Yes, thank you, David, Michelle, Rudy, Stephanie, Katie, and Megan for all of that information. It was a lot, but it was very informative. And thank you for sharing with all, all of that with us. So now we'll be moving on to our Q&A. Um, just anybody want to ask any questions? We have it open for a couple minutes. Let's see. I think um, for the most part, you guys were on it. There were a lot of questions mm -hmm. that came in and you guys right. answered the questions. So thank you so much for providing that additional service for us. We really appreciate it. Yeah, so I think we don't have any questions at the moment. Um, so yeah, and I saw those questions that were coming in and there were great questions, very specific and you guys were on it. So I want to thank everyone for attending the California Baptist virtual presentation. As I mentioned earlier, this recording will be available to our Career Center's YouTube channel and will be sent to your student um, student email. <laughs> It'll be sent to your student email and also be on the YouTube channel, as I mentioned earlier. So thank you again, David, Michelle, Rudy, Stephanie, Katie, and Megan for joining us today. Do you all have any final remarks? We'd just like to say thank you for, for having us and hosting us. We love CSUSB students. Um, again, we think it's a great fit, so we're excited to be a part of this too. So thanks again for helping put this on, even, even during COVID and uh, doing virtual. I know that's a lot of challenges for you, so thanks again. Awesome. Thank you for coming back to, um, I know in the past you've attended our in-person um, career fairs, and this is, this is great, a great opportunity that you were able to to join our, our virtual event as well. Thank you, David, and everybody else from CBU.
Awesome. Thank you. And thank you for joining us today. And to all of our participants, before you leave this session, please complete the post event survey by scanning the QR code on your screen. Your feedback will be greatly appreciated. And by completing the survey, you'll be entered into a drawing for a chance to win exclusive Career Center swag items. And next at 10 a.m., Jacqueline Aguayo will host our session with Alliant International University.